right so we made the views ready and we made one view and the view is working the next thing is I want to create a template so I don't want this page to be blank like this I want a little colorful so I made a, I already downloaded two templates so I'll show you them so in our root folder kite I created a folder called templates in templates I added two things one is I called it as startup with one file and and bottle as a second file these are uh, basically bootstrap templates so I'll show you which templates I've downloaded so in bootstrap go to the getting started and there there are some examples so there's something called a starter template so this I've downloaded and I call it as a startup this is the first template and next I took the narrow jumbotron this I call it as a bottle okay now let's use these two and try to put this data into the e template so let's go back mm, let's open our files so kite let's go to our math controller so math controller it's going <coughs> it's going and calling the view sorry okay let's go to the kite also so because kite is what is rendering the uh, object so so in the view uh, how do I do it so I just made a rough sketch of how do we use the templates this is a general way of using templates so in most of the frameworks I have seen is like generally the program starts with the index so there's a some processing of the data then somehow you got the data then you go to the view in the once you get into the view once you go to the render function you call the template so the template has some shortcut codes uh, it's like a, a template engine like a smart template engine wherein you have uh, some funny funny shortcut codes so those codes will be compiled so there's a compiler so which in which will compile the code using uh, regular expressions so and it forms one single file and then output to browser so in this regular expression conversion it it consumes a bit of time so i don't want to waste the time i just want to optimize that so i'll be using in a different way so what i'll be doing is once the code is processed once you have the data so I'll put everything into the basket and basket will hold the uh, data so once then I'll go to the render function so in the render I'll directly call the template the template will have the function okay that function will go and fetch the data and it will display we never we don't use any of the regular expression so it will save our time so let me stimulate this So once you have the data here, once you go to the render function, I'll directly call the template. So I'll not uh, display this. I'll I'll not display the view. I'll go to the end. I'll call the template. So let's let's call the templates. So let's use the startup template. Start up, and in that, I think it is what exactly it is okay this is default default dot php i believe oh uh, no i think index it's index dot php okay so i'll directly call and let me see if it's working uh, unexpected error syntax 53 53 okay it's directly calling the template now instead of this content I want my content to be displayed so let me open the file let me open the kite template startup alright mm. 
so in the container this is what it is displaying so I'll just remove this so instead of this I want my function to run so let me write a small PHP code so let us call a function so I don't need to echo I'll just call a function so I will write a function here first so let me write a public static function function will be app let's call it as an app function so it has to load the basically the application so what is my application so require so for simplicity I'll directly call the view app so that is uh, require app dot ds dot controllers dot which controller are we using for now let's take it as directly as math no I don't call the controller I need to call the basically the view so let's go to the views views dot which view so add view yeah in that that default d f a u l t dot php right this function i want to call so because it's a static function i can trigger it with kite so app yeah now let's see all right this is the addition page and you have the numbers so let's say i have i don't use so some 10 and 30 it's working that's great now okay now we did a small mistake not mistake rather we actually confined confined our work to only this particular function called uh, sorry this particular view called add but in reality it could be another uh, view so something like it it could be add more let's say let's go to math this could be add more but it will still display the add because we didn't change it so to achieve this first we need to store which view you are trying to extract so in render the view I'll try to save it so kite let me use the kite function in kite let me add so let me add these functions mm, kite node so let's take this set and get the main and then set and get so I'm adding set and get function just to so that I have some values which I can use later on so render so I can use directly use self set so we self so we set mm, set the view so view is basically which view am I using so that is view alright now in this I'll call that view so for that I need to call the reference so for that so kite is basically get instance kite get instance of kite why exactly I'm doing this is so that uh, when I store this so oops I think for this we need to store it in the same reference I can't use it somewhere so get the kite and get the kite object so in the same kite object you need to set this so once you do that when you call the kite and kite get view oh, this will be view and 
instead of this add now I'll directly use view now let's see if this is working oops view so view is open view is empty here this is line 77 77 kite uh, let's print out kite var stump var dump of dollar kite oh nothing is coming get instance of kite and uh, render oops I think this is this has to be turned first yeah because when you call this this is directly going here once you put anything anything below this this will not be executed this will execute after this will be executed so before that if you put it it will work yeah this is working now if I put the math if I put add it will go with the same thing okay this is working